Kevin and Kira were gonna try to outdo each other. I mean, I knew Kevin was gonna try to out, you know, bring somebody really, really good looking or whatever. Well, I knew who Kevin was bringing. Nobody else knew. I knew who Kevin was gonna bring, and Kira, I think her date is cute. Oh, no match. <laughs> no match at all. I don't really care what Kevin thought of Dre. Everybody had to get somebody, so, you know, some people you just gotta settle for, I guess. <laughs> I think Kevin's date looks like a nice person. Well, Monique, yeah, as you can see, she's very pretty. She's a beautiful girl. I had met her like a couple weeks ago at this party. But she's ugly. Looking at the neighborhoods and show you that if you don't really do what you're here to do, man, you can end up on end up on these blocks, on these corners, man. There's a lot of dudes that's out here on these corners, you know what I'm saying, bumming it. That that got a lot of intelligence, dog. I'm living for my little brother. My mama passed away last January. My pa I don't know about him, but I'm living for my little brother. You got a bag up off me, hold my stuff, make me blow up, rest so funky, you down and make me throw up, you know, you sit up, stop the poppy, try to hop it, he be hopping low, oh, pull up, blown the rocky, talking like you blow the rocky, I'm like Kobe in the game, big man, you need a zone to stop me, no, you can't blow the word me, Chicago, the wrong jersey, I got the blow the rocky, you can show the stink with one. My plan was to just go in and tell the truth, answer the question. If elected, you will be the first white SGA president of Southern University. Do you think you can exemplify and personify the black experience and represent what an HBCU stands for? I thought I'd, I thought I'd address this last time. But for those of you who aren't here, Southern University is my home, and you are my family. And I love my home and my family. On election day, I had a sign with good old white poster boards taped around with my name on it, a sheet and two sticks in a bag, and a five gallon thing of Kool Aid. I mean, some cool things for everybody. We keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Got about 50 minutes before this election ends, and then it's, it's, all, it's all in the Lord's hands there. Wayne Hayden, 1024. <laughs> James Slaughter, 702. <laughs> To this day, I still can't quite believe that, you know, our institution is where it is as far as having, you know, chosen a, a white young man who they felt was far better than any black person on this campus. To say, you know, that that he shouldn't be president is, you know what I'm saying, is a contradiction of what of what we try to what we try to be here, because we're a family. And regardless of if you got somebody in your family that's not, you know what I'm saying, that doesn't look exactly like you, you still support them as family. You see what I'm saying? Now, let's move on from that point. Even if Uncle Buck was purple, he's not qualified to me. DJing parties does not make you capable to be a president to me. All these black people, and the only person we could find to run our school was the one white dude here. And I have no problems with Uncle Buck. Love him. You want to go Johnny, let's go Johnny. You're entertaining to me, but Chris Rock is entertaining to me, and I wouldn't vote for him to run my country. Can't, goddamn, can we have something? Can we keep something?